Hello, welcome back. This is part three of our six slot cargo torque challenge. This series has explored the performance of some of the trucks with the highest torque available in the game. Today we will go over the performance of the off-road trucks, which I have gained a new appreciation for after doing this test. There were some nice surprises with trucks that performed better than I thought they would, and if you agree, you'll definitely want to take another look and clean the dust off if they've just been sitting around in your garage. Let's take another look at that list of trucks that can support the 6 slot cargo setup. You may notice that the Zix is no longer on the list and has been replaced by the GMC MH500 highway truck. Turns out that while the Zix can have the sideboard bed, its frame is just too short to be able to attach the trailer behind it. The recent all-wheel drive addition to the GMC has definitely earned it a spot on this list, even though it's still classified as a highway truck. In a moment, we will go over the top 5 best performing off-road trucks. These trucks outperform the heavy and heavy duty class significantly. They practically cut the track time almost in half. Be sure to stick around until the end of the video to find out how all of the off-road trucks performed and which are the most fuel efficient. I'd like to mention that this isn't another one of those top 5 or best truck videos where it seems like things get ranked in a random order just for views. A lot of time and testing has gone into the making of this video to make sure you're getting the right information. Take a moment to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so that you never miss a video. Coming in at number 5. It's the Voron Grad. There are two trucks from the Voron brand that made this list. These trucks are just made to haul cargo and you can feel the power as you maneuver inclines and uneven terrain with relative ease. The frames are rigid and long, and with the raised suspension, you can go over rocks and other obstacles without much sway. The Voron Grad comes with switchable all-wheel drive and diff lock. It's worth noting that 4 out of the 5 of the trucks that made it on this top 5 list are off-road trucks that have a mud tire option. The tire package that worked best for the Voron Grad on this track was the 50-inch MHS-3 with raised suspension. So let's see how this truck handled. Here's the entire track in 5 times speed. Number 4. The Azov 5319. A step above the Azov 64131, when it comes to power and torque, the trade-off may be something to consider depending on the task you need to accomplish with this truck. With a protruding cab, you'll need to be careful on steep inclines and take them at a bit of an angle, although since the last update this has improved noticeably. The other drawback is the 200 liter fuel capacity and the fact that this truck likes to burn fuel. More on that later. The tire package that worked the best was the single mud tire option that is available for this truck, and that's the MHS-1 tire. Here's how the truck performed on this track.
Number 3. The Voron AE4380. A step above the Voron Grad is this model AE4380, a power horse that outperforms most of the off-road class when it comes to hauling cargo and maneuvering terrain that you might otherwise think twice of steering into. This truck ran low 7s on this track with the raised suspension upgrade and the 50 inch MHS3 mud tire package. Let's see how well it did on this track before we get into the two trucks that handled even better. That sound can only mean one thing. Coming in at the number two spot, it's the Tega 6436. Even though this beast of a truck ended up in the number two spot based on track time alone in this countdown, there are other factors to consider that might make it purr as your number one. Let's talk about how this truck handles anything you throw at it, and it's that versatility and superior handling that put it on the top of anyone's list. It performed the best on this track with the race suspension and its very own custom mud tire option, which give it a wider stance and a balanced grip versus dirt, mud, and even snow. Let's take a look how it tore up the track before we get into the number one spot. Before we get into number one, let me take this moment to challenge you to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel where you can find more videos like this one. New videos are added on a regular basis, so the best way to never miss a video is to become a subscriber and turn notifications on. Coming in at number one in this countdown is the Ankh MK38. This truck is all about torque. It will muscle its way through any challenge and the only thing that will stop it is running out of fuel. With only a 200 liter fuel capacity, you'll want to make sure you have a fuel station nearby or have a different plan in place. If you're looking for speed, then look no further than the MK38. I got the best results using the raised suspension coupled with 51 inch UOD2 tires. 
Stay tuned as right after this track, we will take a look at how the other trucks in the off-road class compared, as well as which trucks are the most fuel efficient. We've reached the end of this video and here are the results which show the fastest trucks with the highest torque. Use this as a guide if you are looking for the fastest way to get a big job done. Use this chart as a guide if you need torque as well as fuel efficiency. Many will agree that the Azov 64131 is the best truck to use for big cargo especially when traversing a great distance. You'll rest easy not having to think about your fuel, but you may need some help staying awake behind the wheel of this one. I hope this video helps you pick the right truck for whatever job you have planned next in SnowRunner. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. As always, thank you for your support and see you next time.